Howe Richardson plant was built in Rutland in 1877. At that time, the plant was considered a model of fireproof construction with up to 800 workers, making it the largest employer in Rutland. Howe operated three shifts round the clock, producing up to four million pounds of castings annually and shipping tens of millions of dollars worth of finished goods, making it the second largest industrial scale manufacturer in the world. How manufactured scales used for weighing everything from a single human hair to Boeing jumbo jets. How scales were sold throughout the world and many house scales are still in use today. Unfortunately, as market conditions changed, the plant closed in 1982. Both the city of Rutland and Aerojet General, How Richardson's parent company, made many attempts to revive the abandoned plant. Several different uses were considered for the site. One, proposed by a New York developer, was to demolish the entire plant and construct a new mall. Another was as a location for the Viacom trash incinerator. Still, the site sat vacant for over five years, with its only tenants being a security guard and whatever wildlife that chose to make it their home. A final option being considered by Aerojet was to fence the entire property off and leave it unused. This was predicated on the discovery of hazardous waste on the property. In 1987, Joseph and Barbara Giancola contacted Aerojet's president and made an offer to purchase the property. Excited with the Giancola's plan to refurbish the decaying plant, Aerojet accepted their offer, but the sale was delayed because of the hazardous waste cleanup that had to begin. After two years of extensive groundwater monitoring and removal of environmentally hazardous materials, including many underground tanks, the Giancolas immediately began renovating the property into Howe Center, a home for industry, education, and business. Renovations at the site centered around reutilizing the existing buildings to their fullest potential while maintaining the historic character of the property. In one building, over 4,000 panes of glass were replaced to keep historic double-hung windows intact. Extensive repairs were made to existing slate roofs which had fallen into disrepair and building exteriors were cleaned, repaired, and repainted to give the project a brighter look. As well as bringing the buildings up to code and making them handicapped accessible, many infrastructure improvements were made to accommodate the new variety of tenants. They included the construction of an efficient, state-of-the-art, underground LP gas distribution system to replace the age bunker six oil-fired boilers on site. Overhead electric wires were removed and replaced with a new underground electric distribution network. In addition, new underground telecommunications and cable television services were installed. Each new tenant relocating to House Center had their space built specifically to their needs. The unique nature of the center, with its diverse building types, proximity to downtown Rutland, and flexible space solutions, has attracted an extremely diverse tenant mix. There are presently about 60 tenants and almost 250 employees working in House Center. The tenants range from manufacturers to offices, to youth programs, to retail, to educational institutions, to state agencies. Five entirely new manufacturers have come to Rutland to locate in House Center. House Center is also the home to downtown's only large venue conference center. House Center has played a pivotal role in Rutland's recent rebirth, not only by revitalizing an 18th century factory, but by offering low-cost incubator space to new businesses, allowing them the time and the facilities they need to become our next generation of major employers.